Hello, team trainer Avery and trainer Natalie here. Let's get that body warm for your core and conditioning workout today. So you only need one dumbbell for each of these moves today. You can use whatever you have at home, or of course you can just use your body weight to modify it as well. So let's get it done. For our warm up today, we're gonna go three minutes of work. We'll do two different moves. You're gonna count your own reps. You're gonna start with 20 reps of each move and then drop by five. So 20, 20, 15, 15, 10, 10, five, five. If you get to zero, you're gonna hold a plank and then hold your plank for the remainder of the warm up. So starting with front jacks, these will be a one to one count. Slicing the arms overhead, bring them right back down, hopping the feet out and in. So kind of like a jumping jack, but instead of going around with the arms, you're gonna go overhead and back down. You can also tap the toes out to modify. Going side to side, taking the jump out. And then your second move will be mountain climbers. This one will be two to one, so you're gonna do 20 on each side. One, one, two, two, three, three, all the way up to 20. Then you go back to your front jacks for 15, then you go 10 each, five each, and then hold your plank for the remainder. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, core and conditioning day. Everybody ready? Starting with your front jacks in five, four, three, two, one. Timer started. Count those reps, starting with 20. Three minutes on the clock. Nice, Becca. Good, so just slicing those arms overhead and back down. Good, Hanan. When you finish up your 20 reps, go right into it with your mountain climbers. Nice, and those are two to one. Woo. And let's hop back up for round two, dropping it down to 15 reps now. Keep breathing. Let's get that heart rate up. You are one minute down, two to go. Good, shoulders stacked right over those elbows and wrists in that place. Drive those knees forward. Keep crushing it up on you guys. Shake it out, get right back to it. Good. So again, everybody's at 10 reps now. You guys are crushing it. You're gonna get to that plank hold, no problem. Halfway, 90 seconds down, 90 to go. Follow along with trainer Natalie. You guys are doing awesome. <laughs> nice, good job guys. You are heading into your final 60 seconds here. And Natalie just finished up for five reps, so she's gonna hold that four plank on the elbows for the remainder of the time. Squeezing those glutes, keeping that core tight. Firing up those abdominal muscles for this workout today. You got 40 seconds left. You can also take this to the knees to modify. Still keeping that core tight, squeezing those glutes. Deep breaths in and out. You got less than 30 seconds here. Woo! Good. Finishing out this warm up strong. Final 15 seconds. And squeeze. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and high. Nice job, everybody. High fives. Crush that warm up. Shoot those arms up. Take some deep breaths, and let's get ready for this workout today. So, as I said before, you will need a lot of weights for today. Most of you will just need one dumbbell or just your body weight. And we are working core and conditioning today. So not about going super heavy, more about getting the heart rate up and feeling a burn in our core. So we're gonna have three different supersets today with two exercises in each set. We're gonna do 60 seconds per exercise and three rounds of each set before we move on. So set number one, we'll have two exercises. We'll do them both three times before we go on to our next one. In between the sets, we'll also have some intermissions and then our finisher at the end. So for set number one, your first two moves, we're gonna do three Russian twists to kind of like a Z press. So you're gonna elevate the heels to make it harder, lean back, shoulders down, and then one, two, three, twist to the side and press it overhead. So notice she's dropping that dumbbell down right near the hips, really working that rotation through the torso. To modify down, you can drop the heels 
things a little easier on the low back and the hips. And also, Tamad, you could also drop the weight and just use your body weight. And then for our conditioning exercise in this set, we're gonna go dumbbell push backs. So you're gonna grab that weight, add the chest, and then press it overhead as you hop your feet out. And really full range of motion with those arms. Stack that weight right over your shoulders, get the biceps next to the ears. You can mod down by tapping it out. And for our first intermission, we are going to do 30 seconds each, two rounds. For the first one, we'll do two different moves. We're gonna do a side plank reach through, 30 seconds on each side. You're gonna come into that side plank, stack the shoulder over the elbow, reach through, and then reach for the sky. Really keeping those hips up, working the obliques here. After 30 seconds, we'll switch. You can also modify by dropping the bottom knee and still lifting through those hips. And then the third move, or second move, second move, <laughs> will be side shuffle, toes to sky. So getting the heart rate up a little bit. Three side shuffles, toes to sky. Squat down, then reach up, keep the chin and chest tall, sit the hips slow. So for uh, the sake of getting right into while we're warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and do the first set in our intermission, and then we'll demonstrate the rest as we get there. So set number one, let's go right into it. Three Russian twists to a press, and our dumbbell push jacks. We're gonna go 60 seconds each, three full rounds before we hit that intermission. Everybody ready? Let's do it. Grab that weight and get ready. So whatever you want to use for your Russian twist to overhead press. And I will start the timer for 60 seconds in five, four, three, two, one. Round one, let's go. Eyes on Natalie for that form if you need it. We're going one, two, three, twist. Press it up, biceps next to the ears. Leaning back a little bit, shoulders down away from the ears. And again, to modify, you can tap your heels down. You're still gonna feel it in that core, trust me. <laughs> Let's go, team. You're already halfway. Let that go. Woo! And then, uh, you got 20 seconds here. Out, then we're going right into those dumbbell push jacks. And final 10, 9, 8, keep working right to that bell. And one more, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time, bring it right up for those dumbbell push jacks. Let's do it. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Hustle in right into that next move. Pop those feet out and in. That way overhead. Good. Good. Trainer Natalie's working hard right along with you. You guys are 20 seconds down. Pace yourselves here. Remember, you can tap it out if you need to. You can also drop the weight. Wherever you're at, keep working. You're halfway. Woo, 15 second push, you got it. Yeah, almost there. Five, four, three, two. One time. All right, we're going back down for round two of Russian twist. Second set, 10 seconds. Take some deep breaths. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to it. Three twists. Do it overhead press. All right, keep working hard at home, you guys. These core moves are all about control. Slowing it down, build that mind-body connection. You're halfway, 30 seconds to go. And nine, pressing it, Annie. Yeah, work that core, you got 15 seconds. Sorry, just sitting. Don't mind me. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up for push jacks. Round two. In five, four, three, two, one. Start it up. Closing out this second set. You got it.
All right, you're halfway. Pace yourselves. Keep working. Rushing it. Right, back up. 20 seconds, team. Stay strong. Finish it out. Final set. Nine. Eight. There we go. Sprint to that finish line. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Nice. One more round for you guys to finish out this set. Last round of Russian twist. Two overhead press. Deep press with the pumps. Deep press in through the nose, out through the mouth. Here we go. Final round. In three, two, one. Start it up. Final 60 seconds with this move. Good. Notice how Natalie's shoulders move with her. She's really rotating through that torso. Dropping that weight down. And you're halfway. Final 30 seconds with this one. Woo! <laughs> Feel the burn. Fifteen second push. And final round of those push jacks. Final 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Final round of push jacks. Bring it up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Right into it, ladies. Final 60 seconds here. Woo! Finishing out this round. We got that rest coming. All right, you're halfway. Final 30 seconds here. Woo! There you go. Push yourself. Last round with this move. Good, none. And 15 seconds. Got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press. Awesome job, you guys. That is set number one. Done. So now before we go into set number two, we're going to do our little intermission that we went over in the beginning. So we're going to go side plank for each cruise to start, 30 seconds on each side, and then that side shuffle to the sky. So you're going to come down into your side plank on your elbow for the first 30 seconds. <laughs> Natalie. Remember, you can also bend the bottom knee if you need to modify it. All right, here we go, team. Drop it down. Let's start it up. We're going to go two rounds here. With these two moves. In three, two, one. Side plank reach through. Starting on one side for a full 30 seconds. Keep landing through those hips. Shoulder right over that elbow. Reach through and up. You can also mod down by just holding your side plank. You're halfway. Guys, focus on that form. Take it slow. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Going right into side shuffle, toes to sky. Here we go. Start it up. <laughs> three side shuffles, toes to sky. And you can also mod down, slow it down, kind of do a squat walk like that was doing there, and then take the jump out of your toes to sky. Wherever you're at, give it 100%. You know what I always say, if we're going to show up, we might as well make the most of it, right? And three, two, one, 
high. Going back to your side planks for round two. Keep breathing, you guys. You're doing awesome. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Right back to it with your side plank. Good. Yeah, it's crushing this move. Targeting the oblique muscles here. Those muscles running along the side of the abdominals. I can hear Natalie breathing. Inhale down, exhale up. Always moving with the breath. That's gonna keep you from getting lightheaded. Help you make the most of those muscle contractions. Get ready to switch in three, two, one. Right over to that other side. Good. Nice job, team. Good hustle today. Halfway. Ten seconds. Got it back up. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. And paddle around the side, shuffle toes to the sky. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, shuffle. Toes to the sky. Step around the toes to the sky. Keep your chin and chest up, sitting your hips low. Good. Next up. Woo! Over halfway, team. Ten seconds left. And nice, Annie. And five, four, three, two, one. Press. Good job, everybody. All right. So now it's time for set number two. It's going to be the same format. Two moves, 60 seconds each, three rounds. <laughs> So we're gonna explain set two, three, and then our last intermission. So in the first, second set, we have rocking horses. So one dumbbell in your right side. If your dumbbell's in your right, you're gonna be working your left oblique. So bringing that weight down to your side, coming up, contracting, squeezing that oblique. Perfect, then we'll go 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side, so we'll switch halfway. Then with that is a lateral plank jack burpee. So she's going to hop back into her high plank, plank jack, hop it in, big lateral hop over, plank jack, hop it in, big hop over. Again, you can walk it out, tap your plank jack out, walk it in, and then just kind of like skip it over to the other side. So that's set number two. Intermission number two. 30 seconds, two times through again, just like the other one. We're gonna go slow cricket climbers, emphasis on the slow. So take that knee, bring it to your opposite elbow, really twisting, working those obliques. So nice and slow control movements on that one. Second one is you're gonna a dragonfly. So flipping it over to your back. Two ways you can do this. Easier way for you is going to be bending those knees in, bending them up when you bring them down. Making it harder, you can go straight leg. So straight leg up, nice, slow, controlled on your way down. So two ways you can do that one. And then the last one is going to be a bear crawl. So you're gonna go forward, forward, four, backward. So shoulders in line with the wrist, hips in line with your knees, knees close to the ground, back is nice and flat, opposite move, foot moves with the opposite hand. Final set is going to be weighted toe touches. So grabbing a weight going on your back, feet pointed up to the sky, weight is also up at the sky. And you're just gonna take that dumbbell, reach for the toes, trying to get those shoulder blades off the ground, Sucking that belly button in before you move up and then modding it down. You can bend your knee slightly. Final move is going to be single, or, or you can go no weight. <laughs> single arm dumbbell swing. That is our last move of the day before the finisher. One dumbbell again, hinge those hips back. And then when you um, thrust your hips forward, squeeze the glutes, swinging the weight forward and switching hands at the top. Or you can go double hands on the uh, dumbbell just doing a normal dumbbell swing instead of alternating your hands. Okay, that was the rest of our workout. So grabbing a dumbbell for your rocking horses and we'll get started with that. Mm -hmm. So again, if my weight is in my right, you are gonna be working your left oblique. So put the mind on that oblique, not your right one. So starting it up guys, I'll switch you halfway. In three, two, 
One and go. Good. So slide that weight down your side. Down, up, breathing out, squeezing that oblique. Beautiful form, guys. Perfect. Ten more seconds here on this side. Switching sides in five, four, three, two, and one. So switch that dumbbell to the other hand, right into it. Now we're working that other oblique, opposite of that wing. Oh yeah, make sure you aren't arching your back. So squeeze the booty, keep the core tight, keep the glutes tight. 10 seconds here. Couple more reps, guys, you got it. You have five, four, three, two, and one. We are going to that lateral plank jack burpee. Three, two, and one. So high plank, plank jack, hopping in, big hop over. Same exact thing, back and forth. Nice, Annie. There you go, Nod. Keep it up, guys. She's still smiling. I'm like, you're still smiling. More than halfway here, guys, before we're going back to that rocking horse. Avery's favorite move. <laughs> Final 15, try to give me one or two more reps, guys. You got it. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Back on those feet, grabbing that weight for your rocking horse. Starting it up in three, two, and one. Remember, opposite oblique of that weight you are working. Inhale on your way down, breathe on your way up. Nice, guys. Try to take this movement nice and slow and controlled. Slide that weight down, coming up. Less than 10 before we switch it. Three, two, and one. Switch that weight in the other hand. Right to it. Nice, guys. Perfect form on this one. And then we're going to go right into those lateral plank jack burpees in 10 seconds. Time for a couple more reps here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping that weight right into your lateral plank jack burpees. Right into it. Nice, guys. Always watch Trainer Avery for that form check. She's crushing it right along with you guys. Halfway with this move already. Big hop over. You got it, guys. Round number two is about to be done. One more round here. Nice. Back up. Keep it up, guys. You're crushing it at home. We have 15 seconds left here. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Shake those legs out. One more round here. Pick up that weight for your rocking horses. In three, two, and one. So slide that weight down. Nice, guys. Good. Squeeze that oblique. Less than 10 here. Give me a couple more reps before we rotate or switch sides. In three, two, and one. Switch it over. Good, guys. 
guys got to keep up with that trainer. Final 10 here before those playing Jack Burpees. Couple more reps, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right into those lateral plank jacks. <laughs> My legs. Keep it up, guys. You are stronger than you think. You are crushing this workout. You have an intermission and one more set left. Whoa. Twenty seconds down already. Nice, Annie. Keep it up, ladies. You got it. Remember, take that five-second shakeout if you need to, and then get right back to it. 20 seconds left. Time for a couple more full reps here. Final 10, nine, eight, almost there, ladies. One more, five. Four, three, two, and one. Big old high five, guys. Next up is intermission number two. So 30 seconds each, two times through. We're going slow cricket climbers, dragonflies, and then your bear crawls. So right into them, 30 seconds each. I'll give you a little shake out between the rounds. Two times through. So down in your high plank for your slow cricket climbers. In three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds of everything. So take it nice and slow, off the elbow, or off the knee to off the elbow. Keep those glutes nice and low. Ten more seconds here before your dragon fly. In five, four, three, two, and one. So flip it over onto your back, right into those dragonflies. You can either bend your legs or go straight leg, nice and slow on your way down. Do whatever feels good for you. Less than 10 here before our bear crawl. A couple more reps, guys, you got it. Nice, back up. Three, two, and one. Flip it over for your bear crawl. You're gonna go four forward, four backward. Opposite hand, move with that opposite foot. Always look at Avery for that form check. Back nice and flat. Oh yeah, beautiful. 10 seconds, then we're gonna have a little bit of a break. In three, two, and one. Shake the arms out, loosen up those shoulders. Getting ready for round number two. Get ready, ladies. In three, two, and one. 30 seconds each. And again, you can always mod this down by going to an incline. A little bit better on those rests for you. Ten seconds till our dragon flies. Keep crushing that tone, guys. You are strong. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dragon fly it out. Flip it on those back. Never bend knees or straight. Come down nice and slow on that one if you do. Beautiful, Manon. Nice, slow, control from the way down. Ten seconds before your bear crawl. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bear crawl it out. Final 30 here. Finish it out, guys. You're almost there. Got it. Got it. Push through, you got it. 15 seconds down, 15 to go. Less than 10, guys, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Crush it, guys.
guys. This is one final set. It's the weighted toe touches and the single arm dumbbell swing. So two moves. So weighted toe touches, you can either go legs straight in the air or your legs bent, bent into it. And then single arm dumbbell swings. 60 seconds each, three times. Grabbing that weight, guys, head down to the ground. Three, two, and one. Reach for those toes. Exhale on the way out, up, letting all that air out. Try to get those shoulder blades off the ground with every breath. Good, if you need to drop that weight, by all means go for it, or you can bend those knees, both will make it a little easier. More than halfway already. Keep it up, keep it up, all downhill with every single set on this one. 15 seconds before the next move. Couple more here. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Hop it onto your feet. Single arm dumbbell swing in three, two, and one. So hinge those hips back, swinging the weight through the legs, and then coming up, squeeze the glutes to the top, switching hands out the top as well. Use this move to get that heart rate up. A little bit of conditioning with that board. Beautiful, Annie, nice, back up. Crushing it, ladies, you are 30 seconds down. Keep it up, keep it up, guys. 20 second push here, and you're gonna be done with round one. Fifteen seconds, enough time for a couple more reps. Try to get four in you. Five, four, three, two, and one. Heading back down to your ground for weighted sit up or weighted toe touches. I'm making things up. <laughs> weighted toe touches. Starting it up, guys, in three, two, and one. Hey, Rich's time. I'll make up. Nice, guys. Really feeling those abs burning by now. Ten seconds. Or thirty seconds down, guys. Thirty to go. Keep it up, guys. You're almost there. 20 seconds left, even less than that. Final 10, nine, eight. Couple more reps, guys. Finish it out. Five, four, three, two, and one. On those feet, single arm dumbbell swing. In three, two, and one. Started it up. Really squeeze those glutes to the top, hinge those hips back, only a slight bend in those knees. Beautiful form and on. Nice, guys, you're crushing it. That's what it's crushing on the thing. For real. <laughs> One more round after this. Oh, yeah. Thirty seconds down, guys. Thirty to go. Control that breathing in this move. That heart rate's going up and up and up. Fifteen second push, guys. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Down to that ground. Final time with these moves. And then our finisher. 
in three, two, and one. Got it, guys. Finish it out strong. Two or two moves left. Make them better than that first set. Make it better than that second set.
four, three, two, one, star crunches, your final 30 seconds of this core and conditioning day. Use that breath, keep working. Trainer Natalie is right there with you. 10 seconds down. Good, Becca. You got it, Annie? 10 seconds. Almost there, Hanan. Finish it out strong. Burn family's working right with you. Five, four, three, two, one. And five. Nice job, everybody. You can stay on the ground. We're going to roll it over into a tabletop position for your cool down, starting with a little cat cow. You're going to inhale, arch the back, drop the belly towards the floor, really stretching through the front of the body. Then exhale, round the back, tuck the tailbone, press through the hands. Alternating, moving with your own breath. Inhale to arch, and exhale to round out that. Give the spine and low back a little love. Do a couple more. And then when you're ready, you can bring your belly all the way down to the ground. We'll do a cobra stretch. You're gonna keep hands in tight to your ribs and then press all the way up. <laughs> then chest comes down to the ground. Inhale, exhale, press up. Good. And then we did a lot of stuff on the shoulders today, so let's give them a little love too. When you're ready, we'll do a cross body shoulder stretch. Reaching for that elbow, gently pull your arm across the chest. Take a few breaths here. Start to bring that heart rate back down. You guys all did awesome today. Way to bring that energy and to sides. Deep breaths. Make sure we're all hydrating in this humidity. Let's finish it out with a little lateral stretch. Get the side of that body. We did a lot of oblique work today. And I did not check the July ad challenge of the day. So you have to check the members page for that. Not sure what it is, but, <laughs> but keep it up, you guys. You're doing awesome. Make sure to share those sweaty selfies. Check in on the members page. Check in for your camps. And have a great day. You guys crushed it once again. High fives. Cool. We love you guys. <laughs>